So now we're joined by Ricky Rowe, and he's the uh, operator of this beautiful twin CB behind us. Uh, Ricky, thanks for joining us on the show. Oh, it's a pleasure. I like being here. Tell us a little bit about this airplane. Well, this airplane started off as a single engine B built in 46 or 47. I don't even know the original uh, serial number. But in 1986, or yeah, it was remanufactured into a twin CB. And what you see here is the uh, last one ever built, serial number 23. So there were only 23 twin CBs in the world? That's correct, and there's probably only eight or nine still flying. As a matter of fact, three of them are here today. I was going to say, I saw two earlier, yes. so that's three total that are here today probably. Yeah, that, that's correct. This is kind of an un unusual gathering of them. Uh, what advantages? I mean, you have two engines. Tell, tell us about the differences between the single engine and the twin. Well, not only do you have two engines, you have two alternators, two generators. You kind of have a backup for, for about everything. This is this airplane will haul a more, more load off the water. Uh, it's slightly faster than the single B, but um, pretty much it's it's just an enhancement of the single B itself. What what about the B made you to say, hey, I really want this airplane as opposed to something else? Well, uh, acquisition cost, it's probably the least expensive multi-engine factory seaplane you can buy. Um, we use it in a training business, and it's easy to fly, so it makes it very um Easy for the students to uh, to master, and the uh, cost of operation is not uh, absorbently high. What does it take to, to take a single-engine airplane and literally gut it and convert it to a twin like this? I mean, it goes from a, a polar air, a pusher airplane to a polar props. I mean, it's just it seems like it seems like a big deal. It, it was about an 18 to 24 month project. It, it was not it was not for the faint of heart. No. Too cool. What what are some of the best places you've been able to take this airplane? Oh, we've had this airplane all over the southeast. We've had it up in the Midwest. We've been in the Northeast with it. We even had it down in Puerto Rico for a, did a movie down there with it. No kidding. That sounds like a blast. Thank you, Ricky, so much for joining us here on Other People's Airplanes. It's a beautiful airplane, and I uh, can't wait to see you fly. We saw you come in. We can't wait to see you fly again. Well, I'm about to leave, so uh, keep your eyes open. You bet. Thank you.